On this video, get excited, we're going to be talking about KPIs, which is Key Performance Indicators. We have built an automated KPI tracking system inside of InvestorFuse that we just rolled out across all of our members' workspaces today. For the uninitiated, InvestorFuse is a lead management and follow-up automation system that we built for real estate investors, and we created it on top of the flexible Podio interface. I'm very excited about this because it'll allow our users to just do deals as normal, and our system is gonna track each of these metrics as it relates to the specific campaigns, and it's gonna give you these ratios and KPIs that'll help grease the wheels of your acquisitions department so that you can actually turn more leads into deals. Leads in, deals out is the general process for how a deal gets done. I created a little chart here to kind of walk through this. Obviously the goal is to optimize each of these KPI metrics. And by optimize, I just mean make better. It can also be to make it cheaper or to increase the speed of something. So better, faster, cheaper is the goal of KPIs. And the reason that you want to measure KPIs is so that you can scale up your marketing and you know how much to spend and how much you're gonna get out, the ROI. So I have a blog post that I published on www.investorfuse.com slash KPI that dives very deep into KPIs, specifically each of these KPIs, what influences that KPIs, and then specific actions you can take based on the results from your previous month so that you know what to do, what to change in your operation so that each of these KPIs are optimized. And this is sort of a general uh, picture of what an acquisitions department looks like and it obviously starts with your marketing. These are some of the things I talk about in length on our extended webinar which you can watch at investorfuse.com slash register. Sign up for that. I talk about the three things, the three ways that investors screw up their leads, uh, mainly because of lack of consistency in their marketing. They're in the wrong channel, they're on the wrong medium, or they're using the wrong messaging. If you switch up these, it'll affect how many more leads you get captured. This is the top of funnel. Remember, leads in, deals out. And then from this point on, the biggest hurdle that most investors have is getting a qualified lead to an appointment. And since most leads are just normal human beings that aren't ready for a stranger to come to their house that day, you obviously need to have really good follow-up and lead nurture systems built into your business because most people don't, and this is a breaking point, you want to maximize the number of appointments you go on. If you can do that, then you're already way ahead of the curve. You have a good follow-up automation system in place. You'll get more appointments. Now it's up to you to use your negotiation skills to get that deal under contract. And if you don't get the deal under contract, you have other follow-up systems to keep that seller in the fold so that when they are ready to sell, they know who to come back to talk to. So KPIs help you kind of grease the wheels to your, your operation overall, and it allows you to hold your team accountable so you can actually track their performance over time. So we've built a system in InvestorFuse to help you do that. I'm very excited to have this rolled out. This is how it looks in the campaign. And we have a new app called Campaign Stats. And that takes the information from your campaign items and splits it up into the stats for each month. So we're in the campaign stats right now. Here's the month of January for campaign three. You can click on this and you can go down. And this is where you'll input your cost, how many units were mailed. And then it's gonna relate everything that you do in the system back to the campaign and it'll automatically populate all these fields for you. So month after month, you'll go in and you'll look at these and you'll see which of these KPIs you've optimized. And again, please check out our supplementation blog post. I dive deep about each of these and the specific actions you can take to optimize each of these KPIs. Uh, I don't think I've thought more about KPIs than I did writing that blog post, so I hope it's super helpful for you. Another view that we've created is inside the campaign item itself. The campaign item is where you put all, basically every tracking number you have, you have a separate campaign item. This is gonna give you your macro level campaign information. So it's actually gonna tell you the, the macro level metrics across all months. So it's gonna sum up and average out all of the months so you know what your cost per lead is overall, how many appointments you're actually getting your percentage 
of appointments from overall leads, how many deals you're getting from your leads, et cetera. So you can look and see uh, which campaigns are performing better so you know where you should be funneling more money into. At the end of the day, you have to determine and continuously split test your marketing to find the campaigns that are giving you the biggest bang for your buck. And KPIs help you do that. So I'm really excited to launch this to our members. If you have any questions at all, you can send us an email to info at investorfuse.com. But make sure to check out the supplementary blog post that I wrote, which dives really deep into KPIs. If you don't even know what a KPI is, you'll have a very intimate level understanding of it after reading that blog post, I hope. But if you don't, feel free to reach out and uh, ask us any questions. I'm super excited for our members to start using this and to start actually using the data of their day-to-day -day performance so that they can, they can pull more deals out from their existing marketing and feel confident to scale that marketing up because they know exactly how their business is performing. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.